Hello everyone, we are back with Glen Velvet Reviews. And uh, I have to try to acclimate my fish. I'm going to use um, this stuff called Safety Stop. I don't have the luxury of having a quarantine tank. I know that is more important than anything else, but I don't... In my basement, I just don't have that right now. Eventually, when I get a bigger tank, then I'm going to, you know, have a, a quarantine tank and do it the proper way. But for now, I'm going to try um, this stuff. Here it is right here, safety stop. There's the directions on the back. Um, so I'm going to try this stuff, and let's see how it goes. And um, first, we have to acclimate the fish. Um, let's get the fish out, and I'm going to put the fish inside there and get them starting to get acclimated to the um, my pH and my uh, well my temperature is already good because they've been acclimating in the uh, tank but their p the pH has to match and the salinity so that's going to be able to match in there so let's get the salinity and the pH to match and obviously all the other parameters alkalinity all this other stuff but mainly pH and salinity we want to get that matched up so let's get this going let's get my fish out of there bag open where we got the scissor right here let's get this bag open get them in here we'll get her in here this one's gonna be a her even though I don't know if it's a him or a her but it's gonna be either or out of the bag good oh my garbage is over there okay um all right let's get the other one out and start getting these guys drip acclimated and getting the um let me put the thing in here for her because uh the name of that one is karen so karen we have to um put an air stone in there for karen let's get uh this is going to be amanda let's get amanda out Oops, this was leaking on the floor, of course. Okay. Oh my god. Why are you trying to jump out? I've never seen a fish trying to jump out before trying to jump out. I gotta get this other bag in there. Don't worry about the fucking leaking later. Alright, got the tang out. My water level is very low. It kind of stinks. The tang seems calm. The royal grandma seems crazy. I hope that's okay. Let's see. The royal grandma scene is nuts. He's running around all over the place. He seems a little stressed out. Hopefully he calms down. Let's get this drip, drip acclimation going. Get that drip acclimator going. So, uh, okay, so we're acclimating them. The drip is going on. Everything's fine. I dripped water all over the floor. The royal grandma seems a little crazy. I hope he is going to calm down and not be so stressed out. Um, the tang is fine. Doesn't give a sh crap what is going on right now. I like that. Um, so let's just keep getting the... Um, acclimating them and getting that drip in there. So, okay. That's it for now. All right, so uh, now we're going to get out the invertebrates, the invertebrates on the left container, which is the starfish and the conch, I think it's called. Um, that's what we're going to get out. Let's get them out and uh, put them in. They've been acclimated for about three hours now. I've been acclimating them, which is a pretty long time, but 
Like they, they said to do it for two and a half hours for the starfish just in case so I did it extra long just in case just to make sure that I was acclimated properly. So let's get him in there. Let's see how he reacts. All right, let's get them in. Let's get them in. Um, it's got a rag. Let's get the rag going. Okay, fighting conches in. Let's get the starfish in. All right, ready? Okay. Let's get him in so he can, I want him to go hide. Okay, there he goes. He flipped on. I want him to go run and hide because like I said, I'm just scared about him the most. All right, he's in. Hopefully he goes and runs and hides. He's uh, You see him down there. He's that little red guy right there. He's going to go and hide in the rock, which is good. And uh, we'll see what happens. So that's them, and that's the fighting conch up there. And uh, he's not going to come out because in the bucket, he didn't come out till like five, ten minutes later. So there's no point in me even trying to record him coming out. So, all right. That's it for these guys. All right. Then we're going to work our way onto the, uh, acclim we're acclimating the fish right now. We're going to work our way onto them and, uh, use the safety stopping. See how that works with them. All right. Let's get this going next. All right. So, uh, so for the safety stop, uh, for this stuff, um, there's a part A and a part B. The green is, uh, formalin. Uh, the green part and um, that is what you're gonna do first so I got to mix that in the bucket with one gallon of my tank water so let me get a gallon of my tank water out I'm gonna siphon it out right out of here just like that real quick see like that I'm gonna siphon it in this um, this way I can measure it out Okay, that should be good enough. That's uh, four quarts, which is a gallon. So let's put this in here with the air stone. Get this ready. Uh-oh, something got pulled out. All right, so we got that. We got to mix the blue in there. So we're going to mix the blue up. I mean, the green apart first. Let's cut it open. Let's put it in there. Where's my scissor? Here it is. Where's my mixer? Get my little mixer. My fish only mixer. So we're gonna put this in here. Part A first in here, and then we're gonna put the fish in here when they're done being acclimated over there. That's mixed in there. All right, so it's mixed in there. And now uh, just wait for these guys to acclimate. Then we're going to put them in. I got probably another 30 minutes on that. And then we'll uh, throw them in the, the tub, in the, uh, the dip. All 
Oh, I missed the whole thing. Okay, I gotta cut it. Alright, what are you gonna do? So I, uh, so I mixed up the blue stuff inside. You can't really tell it's uh, the green stuff inside the container over there on the left, but you can't really tell it's green, um, like in other videos that I saw. I guess because it's in a white bucket. This is a clear container, so that maybe that's why it's not showing, but I did put it in, and that's what it looks like, um, not in a white bucket. So it is not going to be green, I guess. So I did put it in like that, okay? So I put it in there, I stirred it up, I put the... Uh, the bubbler in there, the uh, the aerator in there, so make sure to get some air and it aerates it really good. So this way, when I put them in, they'll be uh, you know not stressed out, and it'll be good for them. So that's the plan. So let me get that going on, and then uh, so that's next, and then um, we'll go on to step two of the the blue stuff. We got to dip them in. All right. All right. So so I uh, so I put the uh, fish in the dip. They're in the um, green packet right now, I guess you could say, which is stage number part B, which is the form uh, formalin. So they're in that right now, and they're soaking up in that. We got to set a timer. Alexa, set timer for thirty minutes. I know the timer is supposed to be 45 minutes, but I want to check and make sure they're not stressed at 30 minutes. And I want to check because that's the biggest thing is you have to make sure they're not stressed out um, in the 30 minutes that they're acclimating and stuff like that. So just make sure that you're checking out and seeing what's up like I'm doing. I'm checking what's out. So they're going to be on that. I'm going to empty out the right one. Because that's where they got acclimated in the first place. And now I put them over in this one. So this one. I am going to take out. We cleaned that out. So we cleaned out the jug. And now we're going to put the jug back in. And we're going to. Um, fill it up with a gallon of water. From the fish tank. Uh, which we're going to do. The same thing what we did with the other one. We're going to fill it up with a gallon and we're going to put um, the blue stuff in it. We're going to put the blue part of the safety stop in it. So the blue part of the safety stop is going to go inside down next. <clears throat> uh, that's after the timer runs out. So we'll do that. And then um, that's it. And then they're going to be ready to go to be put in my tank. So that's the plan. And let's hope that everything works out to plan. And everybody is doing well because that's the goal. All right. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. All right. So uh, they've been uh, they've been in there for almost 45 minutes now. So we're going to take them out and put them in the right bucket. I took out uh, a gallon of my tank water from my aquarium. That's what you're supposed to do. So I took out another tank, a gallon of water from the tank. I filled up the other container that's right next to it, as you can see. And uh, we're going to put the um, safety stop, the blue stuff, we're going to put the blue stuff in now and mix it up, give it a good mix. And then um, we'll transfer the fish out and put them in there for um, another 45 minutes, I'm pretty sure is what it says. Yep, 45 minutes as well. So let's get this cut, let's get this going. Where's my scissor? I do not know. Okay, so let's get this cut. Dump it in here. Okay, we got every drop. Now this stuff looks blue compared to the other stuff where it doesn't really look green. Um, this stuff looks blue, so. Okay, give it a good mix. Now let's get the fishies out and get them in there. Okay, so now they're in the blue stuff, which is methylene blue. So they're in the methylene blue right now. 
So I'm going to clean up the rest of this, the tank on the left. Let me add these in there so that they get air. I forgot. So it looks like the Royal Grandma is a jumper. I'm going to have to be careful with him. He has been jumping a lot. And that scares me when I put him in the fish tank because I don't want him to jump out. So we got a little problem with that. That's going to be fun. So yeah, we got him going on. That's going to be great. And uh, that's it. So let them uh, sit in here for uh, 45 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever. And then uh, we'll transfer them into my tank. All right.